So this is a story about Bear, and the characters in here will be talking back and forth to each other, Matthew and Henry and the kids. Um, the, it takes place at the school and then outside of the school, okay? And the problem in the story is we're going to find out what happens. What are you noticing on this page? It looks like the dog got hurt. Yeah, so it. we're going to find out what happens to Bear when he gets out of the fence. That's one of the problems in the story. The first problem, though, is Bear is at school and he shouldn't be there, okay? So let's go ahead and read. A dog called Bear. Bear put his nose under put his nose around the classroom door and padded and what's another word for padded do you think what word would you have put in there bear put his nose around the classroom door and what word would you have put in there Just walked in makes sense? Yeah. Yeah, but the author chose to use padded, right? He padded in. Let's see what Henry says. Pat. Matthew. Uh, Matthew. Called, called Henry. Henry. Bear's here. Bear was a big brown dog. He belonged belong to Put your finger Matthew. in there and that'll help you. You belong to Matthew. Matthew. Who mm -hmm. is next door to the school. Ooh, yeah, so I'm going to give Bear a hug. But Matthew looked Hmm. He looked cross. <coughs> that means he looked kind of angry. He's upset that he's at school. So I'm going to run my finger above here and I'm going to have you read it. So go ahead. I'm going to have to take you home, Bear said Matthew. Mm -hmm. Henry, you can go with Matthew, said Mr. Ford. Ford. Please be quick, boy. So they're bringing him home. Let's see what happens. The boys walked across the school playground. Matthew had his hand on Bear's collar. Yeah. All right, you put your finger in there and try it. Bear, you know you can't come to school. Matthew said to Ross. Yeah, kind of in an angry voice, crossly. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> Bear looks up at Matthew. He just wigged his tail. He was an old dog, and he didn't like hurrying. No, I wouldn't either, right? He probably doesn't want to go home, does he? What are you yeah. thinking? Um, that they're going to put him in the back gate. Yeah, they're going to put him behind the gate that we saw. All right, let's see what happens. Let's see what Bear does. Mm. Put your finger in and that helps you. There was a friendly old dog. The children at school loved him. Once went over 
to the fence to talk to him. Bear always wagged his tail and didn't do smile at them. Yes. Now stay here, Bear. Then Matthew, as he shut the gate. Yeah, that's where I messed up. Mm -hmm. Bending him. I'll be home later. Did that sound funny? As yeah. he bended them? So let's read it again. Now stay here, Bear, said Matthew. As he shut the gate, hmm. bend him. Break that up. word. Where would you break it? Where's that first part? Bear. Let's try this break. What's this word? Be behind. Yeah, behind so one of the him. things is you got to break it more in a different behind. way. Him. Yep, I'll be home later, I'll be right? Home later. Bear looked sad and he put his head on his paws. <laughs> and watched the boys run back to the classroom. All right, so they're heading back to, to class, aren't they? Yep. I'll read this page. A little while later, Henry whispered, Hey, Matthew, bears come back. Not again, groaned Matthew. How did he get out? Mr. Ford, bears here again. Henry saw him going past the window. Can I go and get him, please? Suddenly, they heard a squeal of brakes. Everyone rushed to the window. Yeah, so we know what happened, right? Yeah. 